She was facing a recall for her support of gun control laws here in Colorado. Instead, State Senator Evie Hudak resigned today, effective immediately. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is live. And Lance, in her resignation letter, she says she's stepping down to spare Jefferson County the cost of a recall election. And she also says that she is trying to preserve, quote, the progress made over the last year. That may be another way of saying she wants to make sure her legislative seat remains in Democratic hands. Her decision today was met with disgust by some opponents. This woman had the arrogance to step down and despite parroting a line about how the people of Colorado support her, knows full well that in fact that is a lie. Anger from the head of the recall Hudak movement, who claims that by resigning, the senator has chosen to tuck tail and run away. Thank you, Evie! Thank you, Evie! Today, friends rallied to thank the senator for her support of public schools, children, and the most vulnerable in the community. They stand by her claim that she's quitting to save taxpayers the cost of a recall election the when the county has very little have, money. They've had to reduce services in this library behind us. They have re had to reduce services to seniors. We don't need that expense for the county. What's the real reason for her resignation? I think the for the Democratic Party to hold the Senate majority in this coming spring. The, the dean of the School of Public Affairs at CU says an appointment committee, which is controlled by Democrats, will select Hudak's successor. Was she pressured to resign? You know, I don't know enough about the back room politics, but there were clearly discussions that, you know, that that might be advantageous for the party. Recall supporters say they're not giving up and will target other Democrats in 2014. We asked for names. Just in Jeffco alone, you got Andy Kerr, Jeannie Nicholson, John Hickenlooper. Let's go for the top. John Hickenlooper, he's, he's the prime tar target right now. We take back the governor's mansion. We're going to get a real true pro-gun champion in there. Now, two other state lawmakers were recalled during the last year, former Senate President John Morse and Angela Heron, also for their support of gun control. Now, before that, Democrats maintained a 20 to 15 edge in the state Senate. It is now 18 to 17. Live at the state capitol, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.